Each live editor page you create inside Optimize Press has the option to control all the different typography used in any of the page. So if we look at this page, for example, here, you can see this headline at the top. If we want to see the fonts that are used for it, we can click on the pencil icon, open up the editor. We can scroll down and see it's using the theme default. It's also got a headline tag of H2 selected here. So this means that this text is taking on the H2 style and it's using the theme default font. Now to check the theme default font, we can go over to the typography settings on the left. You can see here, it's got the theme default selected for all the different styles. Now if you change any of the styles here, these are gonna be the main styles used for any of your text in your pages. This can also be overwritten individually on each of the elements. So I'll show you that just now. If we look at this H2 headline style here, we've got theme default. If we scroll down and pick a different font, let's pick this one just so it stands out. Scroll to the bottom, click update. Page then refreshes. And you can see that the font above has changed. So this font using the H2 heading tag is taking the master typography font style. Now if you wanted to override that style, you could go into this font, click on the pencil icon again, open it up and from here you could then choose an individual font for that style. So let's pick one, open sans, if I scroll down and click insert, you can then see it's overriding the master typography font settings. So every live editor page can have different fonts throughout the entire page. You can either set the fonts in the typography settings on the left or you can override the font styles by adding individual styles to each piece of text.